Let's explore the Rotate tool using some examples to illustrate how it works. Take a moment to understand the concepts and steps we'll take with this example. When you pick the Rotate tool, the icon orients itself to any surface you hover over, and you click your mouse button once to set the rotation center and orientation. Then you move your mouse away to establish a rotation arm or base. Click again to set this base. Now, as you move your mouse around, you're rotating the object based on the point and orientation you chose. The usefulness of the rotation arm you set is the ability to rotate precisely to other geometry. Click to finish, and that is how the Rotate tool works. Now, let's show some real examples. What if you wanted to rotate the different hands of a clock? Select the hand you want to rotate first, then choose the Rotate tool and move it to the center of the clock. Click here to set the rotation center, move to the end of the hand and click to establish a meaningful rotation arm, and now you can rotate the hand to any position you need. Click to finish. Now let's try a new example. We'd like to rotate this vault door into an open position. Select the door, then move the rotate tool to the door hinges. We may need to zoom in to properly place the rotation center. Simply roll your scroll wheel forward to zoom in and out as needed. Now place your rotation arm. In this example, we don't need to move from anywhere specific on the door, but simply picking a direction parallel to the door will work fine. Now rotate the door outward and click to finish. Now that you understand how to use the Rotate tool, here are some additional tips. You can lock the Rotate orientation in any direction by holding the Shift key. Hover over a surface or in a plane that you want to lock the rotation to. Hold the Shift key and now as you move around, the Rotate tool no longer orients to each surface but remains locked in one orientation. In our clock example, if there was a center cone, it would be difficult to establish the correct orientation. But by locking the orientation, we can easily use the Rotate tool as needed. You can also define the orientation by dragging your mouse button. Say we wanted to fold this surface up like a paper airplane. Click and drag the mouse from the center point and you can see by dragging around you can choose any orientation. Set the orientation you need, which for us is along this fold edge. Now proceed to rotate the surfaces up into the plane shape. Repeat this process to complete the paper airplane. Although you will usually want to pre-select the objects you need to rotate, you can in fact auto-select objects to rotate. Make sure nothing is selected, and as you hover around your screen, you can see entities are auto-selected and you can use the Rotate tool as needed. Finally, you can rotate copies and arrays using the Rotate tool. This topic is covered in depth in another video, so for more information, view the video on copies and arrays.